What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords mobile video and I'm back at you today with this free to play event that's coming to Lords mobile. Now I thought it would be here yesterday but it's not. It's going to be here in a few days time and of course I'm back on the Taiwan server. Now because I'm on there I've got access to it a little bit more earlier which is cool and as you can see I've got stage 2 and stage 3 open and we're going to go through those today. Now, I actually missed stage 2 yesterday, but a good thing is, if you miss the deadline when it opens, you still can access it. So it's pretty good stuff, and you can't go into stage 3 until the previous challenge is completed. So let's take a look at this one. You can see all heroes must survive. You've got to use Master Cook. This time you get my Minosaurus, or a mini Noceros. Okay, we'll see how we go. And clear the stage of imposed restrictions. Now, as you can see, I've got a team already in there because, guys, <laughs> I've tried this a couple of times already and, um, well, it's a bit difficult. So, to, <laughs> it's not easy. They definitely are increasing in difficulty as you're going forward, as I kind of suspected. So, I'm going to roll with Death Archer on this one. I'm going to go with Sage of Storms and I'm going to go with Prima Donna for those heals. Now, this is the team I think is going to actually do it. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of enemies in here. Now, Noceros goes up front. He's got an absolute ton of energy. And you really do need to make sure you get those ultimates out nice and quick to stop him taking too much damage. Prima Donna does do a heal, but unfortunately, she won't go ahead and heal him completely. He's got so much HP that actually, Noceros takes quite a bit to get his health back to full. But as you can see, I'm getting through this first stage quite nicely. I've got most of my heroes with pretty much good life left, so we'll see how we go. This one's a little bit more difficult. They really do try and swamp him, but check out the ultimate on Noceros. Takes out the whole map with that electric ability, which looks absolutely mental. And as you can see, all the enemies have got blue arrows pointing downwards after Noceros does that ultimate. Now, what that, I believe that is, is actually reducing their defense, but the ones at the back are actually increasing the offense. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, a yin and yang. You're taking away their offense or their defense, but they're also increasing their attacks. It's pretty difficult. But as you can see, I've got through this bit quite well. So looking pretty good so far. Moving on to the third stage. Again, look at that Noceros attack. Covers the whole map. Pretty crazy stuff. Electrocutes everybody. Now, again, I'm focusing my ultimates at the back there. Just trying to take out those, you know, nasty looking enemies at the back. I'm sitting here with Death Archer right now, wondering what to do. <laughs> I'm kind of lost. There's so many enemies on the screen. I'm not sure which one's going to be most effective. In the end, I went for the one that was targeting Sage of Storms. Noceros dropping health really bad. Prima Donna doing her best to try and level him up. Again, I've got Sage of Storms, trying to work out where to drop this ultimate. Do I focus on the main boss? Do I go to the back? I decided to go for the back this time. Noceros again taking massive damage. Prima Donna coming in with the clutch heal. Still only heals him to red. He's still not back in the green yet. And we're going to go ahead and use our Master Cook on this boss right now. Again with a Death Archer, trying to level that boss down a bit. Noceros coming in again, using that defense buff. Or reduction I believe that's what it is guys if I'm wrong let me know in the comments coming in again with Sage of Storms trying to clip as many of these enemies as I possibly can with that ultimate it's looking really good at this stage I'm thinking you know what I'm actually gonna do this all the enemies are dead just the boss left and he kills my Noceros <laughs> as you can see guys it's not easy at all it really isn't it I must have tried this I'm gonna say probably about 10 times before I finally got to this one. Now let's continue with that same kind of strategy. Let's take out those enemies in front of Noceros. Again, using that Prima Donna as much as I possibly can. Again, apologies for the picture quality there. We've got a bit of glitching going on. <laughs> it's because I'm basically using my phone and projecting it onto my computer. Um, so obviously we've got the line messages and all that good stuff coming through. <laughs> and a bit of glitching, but it's all good guys. Anyway, you can see I've got past stage 1 here. It's looking really good actually. My Noceros has got half health, which is still quite a lot. Again, I'm going to use that electric ability that is absolutely mental. Really good stuff. Going to go in and keep firing those ultimates off at that group of enemies around the Noceros, trying to protect him. Bringing in another Prima Donna heal. 
shooting off my death archer. Where am I going to go with this one? I think I'm going to go to the back somewhere, I think, on this. Going to take out one of those, you know, the enemies at the back that are giving buffs to all those other troops. Okay, good, good job. Here we go. So we're through that first wave of enemies. Coming into the back ones. Again, as soon as Prima Donna's ready, I'm firing it. I want to try and get Noceros as much health as possible for this stage. And I'm going into stage three here, looking pretty good on the Noceros. He's got that, you know, that health almost to the top, which is pretty good stuff. Again, it's just choosing the right spot for these ultimates. I'm going to fire one off at the back and try and take out those back guys first of all. Again, I'm going to fire that next one off at the back as well. Now with Death Archer, I'm going to shoot that one in the middle that's focusing on Sage of Storms. Again, with another Prima Donna heal, Noceros at full health. This is looking so much better. I had a real good feeling this time I was doing it this, this time. As I got so close before, the enemies at the back are almost dead. I'm going to finish them off with that ultimate. I probably could have left that one, but I didn't know whether my heroes were targeting those at the back. So I just went for the ultimate at the back to clear them out. Now I can start focusing on the middle of the field and the ones at the back of the screen. You can see there, again, those range ones that are buffing the troops up, which is really annoying. Maybe it would be a good idea if you've got a tracker to kind of take out those ones right at the back if you can. I probably should have done it with Death Archer, but I didn't do it this time round. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I've taken that boss out. And that's stage two completed with Prima Donna, Sage of Storms, and Death Archer. Again, the basic of free-to-play heroes. You guys will have a much more wide range to choose from. But there we go. Just want to show it can be done free-to-play. That's what I'm going for with this. Okay, so that's the team again I used. Again, Sage of Storms, Prima Donna, Death Archer. It is doable with, you know, the basic heroes. Good stuff. Okay, let's move on to stage three. What lies in wait for us? Now, that, what's that pink thing? Okay, all heroes must survive. Hang on. A fiery pillar that damages everything when it's destroyed. Oh my gosh. We've got Steambot, Dream Witch, and Tracker in here as well. Well... This is going to be interesting because those are quite damaging heroes, plus those things are going to explode. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead with that standard team I was using. It seemed to hold up pretty well. And this time we've got Chaos Dragon leading the charge up front. Not the best of heroes for Hero Chapters or Colosseum. We'll see how he does. Okay, Chaos Dragon is dead. Right, okay. <laughs> well, he didn't last very long, did he? Let's try that again and see if it was a fluke or if Chaos Dragon really does suck in Hero Chapters. Let's find out, guys. Again, storming forward, just starting to get into our attacks, and Chaos Dragon is dead again. Okay, right. We need a tank, guys. The bad news is the only tank I have available right now is... That's right, guys. You guessed it. It's Oathkeeper. <laughs> Eww, not the best ones I have, but I'm going to take out Death Archer. I'm going to put Oathkeeper in. I like keeping Sage of Storms in because of that area attack he does. He can hit multiple enemies. And that's going to come in handy because I'm going to try and clip those pillars at the same time as using the ultimate against the heroes. That's the plan anyway. See what I'm doing right now? I'm trying to reach it, but I can't quite get there on this occasion. I did manage to take out that Incinerator. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to do a clutch heal right now from Prima Donna because these things are going to explode. So, hit whoa, that took a ton of damage off. Okay, there was two pillars on that one. There's three pillars on this one. Plus, we've got a Bombing Goblin, a Dream Witch, an Incinerator, and a Steambot. Well, I'm going to focus all my ultimates on those heroes in the middle. You can see I'm trying to clip that pillar on the right-hand side. Almost took it out. That would have been nice if I killed it, but I didn't. Okay, these are going to explode again. I need some heals. There's Prima Donna. Good stuff. She went down to red after that first pillar went down. Third one. How much damage? Not too bad. Okay, so I'm still in the green. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good at this stage. I may do this. Let's keep going. Right, ultimates. Let's fire them all in the middle. Again, I probably could have clipped that one on the right. I've done it with Sage of Storms. Good stuff. Going to come in with Oathkeeper now, trying to wipe out the rest of those heroes. It's just Incinerator left. Another Clutch Hill. Master Cook's going to finish off that pillar on the right. There's three pillars left, and my life's looking good. Okay, that pillar's down. Life's almost gone. Oh, guys, you need to make sure when you, your heroes are marching towards the back of the field to take out these pillars that you've got a Prima Donna to heal your guys before they go there. Because I can tell you something. If your heroes go and take out these pillars and they've got red life, 
then they're going to die as soon as they hit them. So there we go. Prima Donna coming in with that heal. Going into the back with green full health bars. And let's see what happens when these go down. A little bit of life dropped. The next one. Oh, Sage of Storms nearly dropped. But it's okay. He's still alive. Let's keep going. Again, I've got all my ultimates. I'm going to fire all of them off into the middle. Again, I'm going to try and clip a pillar or two. I don't think I did that time, but I'm going to heal. Let's have a look and see what happens next. Okay, Incinerator is about to drop. My life's looking good. Okay, let's see what happens. How much are they going to drop? First pillar's down. Oh, Prima Donna's almost dead. Quick heal there from Prima Donna. Had to get that heal in, otherwise she would have died. So you've got to be very quick on your fingers with the heals on this one, guys. You really have. Okay, here we go. Ultimate's in. Clipping that pillar on the right-hand side. Couldn't quite reach it with Master Cook. Oathkeeper's going to help finish off Steambot. Another good ultimate going in. Prima Donna with the clutch heal on Sage of Storms. He was about to drop. Master Cook again. Takes out a pillar with that ultimate. Three left. Again, I'm using Sage of Storms to take out Tracker. And that pillar over the left-hand side. Wow, that one nearly took my heroes out. Prima Donna clutching it now. All green health bars in the last two. We should be golden on this one, guys. There we go. Looking good. Ultimate on the end. Wow. Nearly died at the end, but really good stuff. And that is stage three complete. You can see it's much more difficult, but it's absolutely doable, guys, with the free-to-play heroes. So again, if you've got more heroes, even the other advanced free-to-play ones from the hero chapters, you should be absolutely fine doing this. It's not too bad at all. Of course, it is getting difficult. So of course, these next three are going to be interesting. If you want me to cover the next stage four, stage five, and stage six, please make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know, guys, all right? And not there, let's take a look at our heroes, take a look at the medals. There we go, we've now got three out of 10 Master Cook medals. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, let's take another look at that team again that I just used for chapter three, just so you can write it down if you wanna take a note, which was Oathkeeper for my tank. Chaos Dragon dies instantly, so you need to have a tank on this one. Sage of Storms and Prima Donna. Those three worked well. It was still difficult, but I managed to do it. And of course, guys, just make sure you are very careful of those Blazing Obelisks. They do damage all of your heroes once you destroy them. So you do need to make sure you've got a decent amount of health before you go to the back of the field and take out those Obelisks, using your ultimates to kill heroes and the Obelisk at the same time can sometimes pay dividends. So just try that out. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you leave a big fat like and hit that sub button if you haven't done that already. And until the next time, stay safe everybody and peace out.